Hi, today I want to talk about the difference between Webflow and FrameRx and which is better for you. The world is starting to figure out a more effective way to build smart UI components than to do a telephone game between designers and engineers. Many brand new tools out there today have a hybrid approach that considers both designers and engineers, out of which the two compelling players I choose are Webflow and FrameRx. Let me tell you why these two and how they differ. By the end of this video, I'll promise you that you'll find out which is better for you and why. What is Webflow and what is FrameRex? First, let's talk about who they are. Webflow is a browser-based web design builder as well as a hosting service. The online visual editor platform allows an intuitive design of a responsive and quality website, which then you can publish instantly or export to clean codes that you can host anywhere. FrameRx is a desktop application for OSX for web and app prototype design. They are also soon releasing a browser-based version too. It includes a powerful code editor to help explore interactive ideas and can also import production components to design with. Did you understand? Well, I don't know how much that made sense to you, so let me rephrase it in a more common language so you can get a better distinction. What's Webflow really? If Squarespace or Wix made their own professional website design builder that also helps you manage their clients, it will look like Webflow. While you can rely on easy to start templates, you will also have the power to make design decisions for every little detail. How about frameworks? What's frameworks really? The traditional prototype design tools rely on a feature that treats graphic elements like components to mimic the structure of real UI, as well as its shared attributes and dependencies. But after all, graphic elements are just pixels with no function. What if you can make these elements alive by adding a mechanism to do anything an actual UI can do. Well, that's what FrameRx is capable of. Webflow and FrameRx, they are both design tools that help seam the gap between design and development, but in different ways, I'll explain shortly. They can also both create a design with interactivity that's one-to-one -one with the final product, but again, in different ways. What's the main differences? Before you know which is right for you, let's understand the key differences. First, differences in outputs. With Webflow, once you're done designing, you publish and it's done. The site is live and functional. There's no handoff and you just built it all. Framer X is a prototype builder. Though the interaction fidelity can be one-to-one -one with the production, it's not a real website. However, Framer X's code editor reads TypeScript and can use React. So if you code a component function, you can almost reuse that in your production. CSS can be exported though. Differences in purposes. Webflow is used for static web production and hosting. It's perfect for freelancing and designing for various clients and their small businesses. Though mostly static, Webflow supports rich graphics and transitional animation building. FramerX is used to prototype interactivity. Because it runs real code, the sky is the limit to what you can build with. This is great to explore components functions and also perfect for testing them. It's also a prototyping tool, meaning it's designed to facilitate the iterative design process using the familiar design approach to many traditional design tools like Sketch, Figma, or Adobe XD. Differences in extensions. Similar to Wix, Webflow supports many integrations and plugins. While the selections are rich, Integrations are mostly established services from third-party businesses, and the real intention here is to fulfill your and your client's business needs rather than to be explorative. FrameRx, on the other hand, can import any node packages. This means you can literally utilize any JavaScript packages or API out there whether business services or public packages or even ones you created yourself in your project. This is super powerful as it can enable designers to use production components to design, meaning there will no longer be any discrepancy between designers' assets and productions as they reference the same source. Additional key features to note, Webflow also has a thing called Webflow Showcase. It's a social platform similar to Behance or Dribbble, but what's cool is you can fork others' work and use as a template. 
Also, Webflow Showcase is a good network to tie to your freelance business. Webflow University. There's a thing called Webflow University, which is a too good to be true collection of educational resources to help people grow and take full advantage of Webflow. CMS. CMS is a content management system tool. Uh, the feature helps you to create or manage dynamic contents that gets fed into your website, like images or you know, database. Client billing. Webflow has a tool to bill clients directly and manage profits, so it's great for freelance. Frameworx has a thing called Framer API. It's a complete API reference of the Framer library, a JavaScript library made for rapid interactive prototyping for web and also mobile. Framer animation. Framer animation in an, is in an open source React library to power production ready animations. You can design fluid animation for the web across desktop and mobile. Framer packages. Framer packages allows you to easily install and start using thousands of packages from icon sets to interactive components straight from your application. Framer bridge. Framer bridge is a GitHub compatible feature to automate keeping components up to date and connecting production codes directly to your team design systems. So which is better for you? Here's a final summary of why you choose one over the other. Webflow is good at building and publishing websites from the beginning till the end. It's a comprehensive web development tool. It's also a perfect tool for you if you plan to freelance or manage clients. Webflow can export clean production code, but does not require you to actually code at all. Webflow has many beautiful and modern templates and pre-built sites you can fork and build your website off of. Webflow is probably a good tool to build websites for small businesses with common structure and features like e-commerce, web services, blogs, portfolio, marketing, and so on. Webflow has an intuitive animation building tool that can create beautiful transitions and movements without coding at all. And finally, Webflow can manage class styles similar to how you manage styles in a design tool. What about FramerX? FramerX is a super convenient tool for product design designers and engineers in corporations to develop quality prototypes and components. With FramerX, the purpose isn't to quickly publish a site, but it is to give you flexibility for engineers to take what they need from the project and plug them into their products the way they want. FramerX is gold for building design systems to document and manage design patterns. FramerX enables designers to explore unique and dynamic interactions and also user test with prototypes that's comparable to the production fidelity. FramerX also closes the bridge with the engineers and the designers and remove any discrepancy by using the same production code components to design their prototypes. All right, I hope you have clarity to the differences in the two products and hope you like what you learned today. Please help me spread the knowledge to more designers and engineers so they can enhance their work and grow in their careers. I'll be posting more videos to help you learn and grow as a product designer as well. So if you like this video, subscribe and stay tuned.